Daily Finks, the highly anticipated, highly hyped Field of Dreams game is tomorrow with the Sox and the Yankees. No one is more excited than Jake Hamilton. He's live in Iowa with more. Hey, Jake. Guys, I got to tell you, I don't care what Kevin Costner says. To me, this is heaven. And you know, there's not a scene in Field of Dreams where a storm blows through, but we just experienced that. God, I love the music. But I got to tell you that even if there had been a scene in the movie where a storm blows through, it still would have been a great scene because the storm's blown through. I think some people are out. They're going to see if they can get that youth game back out here because they had the youth 14-year-old kids playing out here on the movie set itself. You see the house in the background. But let me tell you, no moods have have been dampered rain or no rain the kids are out here they're having a great time on the eve of that highly anticipated game tomorrow night and i actually just ran into big poppy himself david ortiz and i wanted to know how he feels about those kids being able to have that chance to take the field you see these kids out there and, and how does that make you feel it made me feel great you know especially i have a really good childhood you know my dad and my mom they always support me really well uh as a kid and and during my career and and who doesn't want to play catch with his dad, you know what I'm saying? I mean, this is something that, I, uh, like I say, you know, the movie uh, bring a lot of memories, a lot of emotion. And, you know, seeing kids out here today uh, trying to be uh, uh, like their favorite player at some point in their life is something that uh, uh, every, every kid dream of. Absolutely. Tomorrow morning on Good Day Chicago, I'm talking with a couple of people who know a thing or two about this field. I'm going one-on-one -on -one with Kevin Costner and Ray Liotta about their memory shooting what is my favorite baseball movie of all time on this field. And guys, I got to tell you, I had the chance to speak with A-Rod and Big Poppy and Frank Thomas, and I asked all of them, come on, like, didn't you cry watching Field of Dreams? Because I wept like a baby. And all of them said resoundingly, no. They didn't cry. So what about here from Dyersville? Apparently the only man who cries at Field of Dreams. Tossing it back to you guys. Come on, Corey. Corey, I, I know you cry at Field of Dreams. Well, the one, when the dad's having a catch with, you know, when they're having a catch, that, yes. that you know, that gets you. It just does. Yeah, no doubt. That? Yeah. Because I used to play catch with my dad. Like everybody did, Aww. just about, who had a dad. Lucky enough to have a dad who liked to play ball. So I'm going to hey, bring Jake. the glove and ball into the studio, and we'll, we'll just toss across the studio. Aww. That'd be awesome. Is he saying you're the dad? Then, I, yeah, it's kind of oh, weird. Okay. But, Jake, uh, over your left shoulder is the farmhouse. You staying there tonight, or what? Yep. <laughs> You got the, the uh, well, you know, a contest winner is in there tonight, oh. and I've been trying to, to make friends with them to um, to be able to stay overnight with them because you can't rent out the farmhouse and the field <laughs> oh, one night cool. at a time. And so far, it's going not well at all. So more as this story develops. <laughs> you can have the couch in the family room, maybe, you know. Yeah. Yeah, it worked. Thanks, Jake. Jake, good to see you, buddy. Yeah. Who knew? Thanks, That's guys. Pretty, that's pretty cool. See too. ya.